taxes. High gas prices, high unemployment. The top story this morning, job. The unemployment rate has not budged in the last month. The unemployment rate was unchanged. How bad is it? It's bad, Jamie. Going from bad to worse, the job numbers are back to being just bad. It had Mitt Romney release his tax returns, what day would you have picked? Oh my God, it's perfect. We both have got the big stack here. When ours are what, four or five pages? He's not in the 1%. He's in the 0.006%. Exhibit A of unfair taxes. Quote unquote, the class warfare element. It was a class warfare speech almost. Nothing new, it's still the class warfare. Class warfare campaign. You know, when he was talking class uh -huh. warfare, not class warfare. President elected to invoke class warfare. Talk to me at first about the possible link with Al-Qaeda. He said he trained with Al-Qaeda. Self-proclaimed Al-Qaeda terrorist. An Al-Qaeda terrorist. An Al-Qaeda terrorist. Al-Qaeda terrorist. Al-Qaeda. Uh, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. Well, more than 100 million Americans are now receiving some kind of welfare. 37-year-old Angel Adams blames the system for her problems. Now just this year, the government is spending more than $70 billion on food stamps alone. The payouts are so attractive that getting out of bed to go to work doesn't really seem worth it. I know I feel that way. Handouts have unintended consequences. But once I found out about welfare, why work when I can hang out out here? As if you didn't have enough to worry about, some new and many would say alarming crime stats. Another crime scene. Another indicator of a troubling trend in America. Serious violent crime. A new era of higher and more violent crime. The resurgence of violent crime across urban America. The three main factors uh, in terms of story topics that the AP says transcend all others are stories that impact health, heart, and pocketbook. It's a talker. It's what people want to know about, so. It's very subjective. We look at those stories and we decide what looks most important to us. disorganized protest on Wall Street. So when does a protest become grotesque? Well, right around the fifth filthy day of a sit-in slash live-in demonstration at a park near Wall Street. What do these people want? What do My, they want? What exactly is their message? What are they protesting? Nobody seems to know. It is also accumulating trash and lots of it. It's a, a garbage bin down there. They told me, you know what? We're going to be out here as long, as long as it takes to see change in this country. And I told them, you're going to be here a while. <laughs> Protesters tell me they plan on marching through the streets of downtown all night long. Of course, we'll have to wait and see if that's what really happens. But it's clearly a protest against corporate America and Wall Street. And yet it's a big corporation these protesters are relying on to get their message out. Catered lunch, designer yoga clothing, that's a Lululemon logo, computers, lots of MacBooks. Research looking at framing examines the sources used. And study after study of source use finds this overwhelming reliance on what are called official sources. Jonathan Aiken is standing by with the latest word from the White House. And I got officials tell us. According to U.S. intelligence. I'm told by uh, officials, a couple of uh, officials at the White House. A top official at the U.S. military central command. Because of the business factors that the news media and journalists work under, um, quite often they take the, the easiest route to getting their information and a lot of that comes through experts provided by the government that can tell the story the way the government wants it to be told.